Okay, this is uh, your, where's my little thing at? It's right down here. Hang on one second. There it is there. Okay, this is your grade eight uh, review of integer operations. This is your practice test, so follow along. If you're using this as a study guide, you can try a question, look at the question, try it, press pause, do the work, and then press unpause to check to see if your answer is correct, or you can fast forward through it to see questions that you don't know the answers to. And you can watch the video to use that as a study guide. The first question, the first says, true or false? When multiplying an integer by itself, you will always get a positive product. So in order to see an integer by itself, so if I chose the number positive 3, which is an integer, any positive or negative whole number is called an integer. So if I choose positive 3, and if I multiply it by itself, in this case, positive 3 times positive 3, my answer would be a positive answer, positive 9. Conversely, if I took a negative number, in this case, let's say negative 4, and multiplied it by itself, negative 4, I would get 4 times 4 is 16, but a negative number times itself is a positive number as well. So in both instances, when I take a, uh, an integer, regardless of what number it is, and multiply it by itself, the answer will indeed be a positive product because two signs that are alike will always multiply out to give you a positive product. Question number two says six groups of negative three is written as, and then it has negative three times six. The answer for this one is false, and here's why. We talked about the order of your multiplication statement as being semi-important to what the question is. Is it the same answer? Yes, but six groups of negative three is six groups of negative three. So the order of the terms, although it's the same answer, is important because I want you to get used to interpreting it as it's written, not as the answer is given. So the answer is false. It's actually 6 times negative 3. So on your test, I would expect to see the answer false, and then I would expect to see something like it's actually 6 times negative 3, not negative 3 times 6. Question 3 says the product of negative 2, oh, I spelled and wrong, and negative 3 is greater than the same two numbers sum. So what this means is negative 2, and I'll use a time symbol here, times negative 3 is going to be greater than those same two integers sum. So the same two integers, negative 2 uh, plus negative 3. So I could have actually written this question without using words. I could have just written it as it's written here on the board now. And in this case, you would have to solve both sides. So what is the product? of negative 2 and negative 3, well it's a positive 6, and the sum of those two is negative 5, and is positive 6 greater than negative 5? Yes, therefore your answer would be 2. Don't forget, as you read it from left to right, if I say negative 2 times negative 3, and what I just said is being eaten by the symbol, I read it as greater than negative 2 plus negative 3. If it was written like this, uh, I would read as negative 2 is less than, because it's not eating what I just said, negative 1. Uh, and question 4, the equation modeled here expresses negative 8 divided into groups of negative 4 will equal 2 groups. So this is actually false, and the good news is I don't think I give you many division modeling questions on your test. So be aware that this is actually uh, removing two groups of negative 4 is equal to positive 8. This is actually what the modeling is, is demonstrating. It's actually removing two groups of negative 4 will result in positive 8. Question number... F oh, oh, we don't have a number here. Anyway, the next question says, question 5, what are the sign rules? Pretend someone said use the sign rules, and I went to the dictionary to look up what I meant. So the sign rules in my words, and it doesn't have to be your words, but you can have something that's, are um, when multiplying, and this is important, or dividing integers. Integers, if your signs are the same, 
your product or quotient. You don't have to write this right down, but just listen. Product or quotient will be positive. If different signs negative. So in my dictionary definition, I'd probably include a couple examples. Something like that, just to support your definition. Okay, question number six. Uh, for these next questions, write appropriate equation that represents the situation. So 10 groups of negative 5, since it says equation in big bold letters, I need to put an equal sign and a negative 50. Question 7, negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2, or 4 groups of negative 2 will equal negative 8. Question number uh, 8. Removing three groups of positive 8 is removing three groups of positive 8 will equal negative 24 as your equation. Question 9. Withdrawing from your bank account on six different occasions. $8. Removing six times 8 bucks from your account will mean at the end of that you'll be $48 per than you were before. Per And finally, removing two groups of two, removing two groups of two will equal negative four. Okay, use the greater than, less than, or equal to signs. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. I'll bring this one over here. Okay, so this says four plus negative two is greater than, less than, or equal to four times negative two. So if I solve this, I have more positives. So this is going to be a positive two sum. Over here is going to be a negative 8. Since positive 2 is greater than, I must use the greater than symbol in my first square. The sum of 4 and negative 2 is greater than the product of 4 and negative 2. In my next question, uh, the difference between negative 10 and 3 is greater than, less than, or equal to the product of 10 and negative 3. So I always like to use my keep flip change. So the difference, or negative 10 take away 3 more, is negative 13, or the sum of 10 and negative 3. And the product of the two, when I multiply it out, is going to be a positive 30. So negative 13 is less than positive 30. So the appropriate symbol would be is less than. And your last one. Negative 10 take away 30 is greater than, less than, or equal to 100 divided by negative 2. So this one is going to be negative 40, right? Negative 10, take away 30 more, will be negative 40. And 100 divided by negative 2, well, 100 divided by 2 is 50. Different signs is negative 50. Which one is greater, negative 40 or negative 50? Negative 40 is greater, so therefore I say negative 40 is greater than negative 50. Or the difference between negative 10 and 30 is greater than the quotient of 100 and negative 2. For your next questions, 12 through 17, use bed mass to show all the appropriate work. Okay, let's stretch this out a bit. So we have negative 10 plus the product of 3 and negative 2, or negative 10 plus 3 times negative 2. Of course, since I'm going to do my multiplication first, I should bring down the addition that I'm going to do second. And I'm going to ask myself, what is, I'll grab my highlighter here, what is 3 times negative 2? Now notice, this is important. Notice that your addition sign is still there. And the product of 3 and negative 2 is negative 6. And since I want to separate my addition sign from my, my integer sign, I'm going to use brackets to separate the two. My last question I have to ask myself is, what is negative 10 plus negative 6? 10 negatives combined with 6 more negatives. I don't have any more of either. I just have a lot of negatives. And my answer is negative 16. Okay. Please make a note of that highlight, right? The addition sign stayed, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, which had to be put in brackets. 
My next question says 5 times the product of 5 and negative 2. So before I do any thinking, I know I'm going to do my multiplication first, so 5 take away is going to come down. And just like I did before, I'm going to highlight what is 5 times negative 2. Well, that's negative 10, and it must go in brackets. If you like to keep flip change, now's a great time to use it. I'll use blue to show you how it looks. 5 plus 10 will be 15. Or if you had $5 and somebody took away from you $10 worth of debt that you didn't have, you could put that $10 worth of paid off debt in your piggy bank, which makes you $15 richer ultimately. Next question <laughs> says 2 times negative 8 take away 4 plus 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually figure out what negative 8 take away a positive 4 is. If you want to rewrite it like that, you can. And of course, now would be a good time if you're a keep flip change member of society, you can keep flip change. And negative 8 take away 4 is negative 12. So when I do the first step, which is B of bed mass, I end up with negative 12. I now have the product of those two. 2 times 12 is 24. Different signs will be a negative product. And finally, negative 24 plus a positive 5. I'm combining negatives with positives. Which one do I have more of? I have more negatives. How many more? I have 19. So your answer for that question, it's not 7, but whatever that was, is negative 19. And next question, question 8. This one has three operations. It says 2 take away 3 times negative 4 plus negative 10. So the first thing I'm going to do if I grab my highlighter again is to multiply that positive 3 times that negative 4. So 2 take away, and then I'm going to put a plus negative 10. I can really do all of that before I do any operations. I could say it's going to be 2 take away whatever that product of 3 and negative 4 is, and then after I get that, I'm going to add a negative 10 to it. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, so that replaces the 3 times negative 4. Notice how I did not shift any of the numbers to different locations. They're still where they are. And now I have simply subtraction and additions left. Do not do addition before subtraction. The rule for bed mass, remember, there are four steps. There is brackets, there is exponents, there is division multiplication, and there is addition subtraction. So we're on addition subtraction, which means it's in the order they appear from left to right. Not addition first, then subtraction. So since the first thing I see is subtraction, I'm going to do that first. 2 take away negative 12 is 14. If you don't believe me, keep flip change to see it. The rest comes down. 14 positives combined with 10 negatives will be 4 positives. Okay, so your answer for question, whatever that is, is positive 4. Good so far? Anyone want to pause in this? Are we good? And question 9. I think your last bed mass is it. Is this your last bed mass question? One more after this? Okay. So this one's tricky. This says negative 1 multiplied by 10 take away 12 take away 14. So 10 take away 12 take away 14 is actually a grade 7 question that would probably have been one of your more difficult ones. So when I write this, 10 take away 12 is negative 2. So that's the first step. And then negative 2 take away 14. If you're having a difficult time, the keep flip change might help you. It would be that. So when I simplify the brackets, 10 take away 12 take away 14 is going to be negative 16. Because 10 take away 12 is negative 2, and negative 2 take away 14 more is negative 16. My next step is going to be to multiply negative 1 by negative 16, and that will be a positive 16, because 1 times 16 is 16, a negative times a negative is a positive. And now we have a grade 4 question. What is 16 divided by 2? It is 8. 
Okay. So your answer for question nine is a positive eight. And this is your last bed mass, right? Okay. So this says 10 take away 16 divided by negative 2 plus 2 times negative 10. So here, if I count the number of operations, I have a subtraction, I have a division, I have an addition, and I have a multiplication. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is my division multiplications in the order they appear from left to right. So the first thing I'm going to simplify is the division. So it's 10 take away 16 divided by negative 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. A positive divided by negative is a negative. So technically, after I do my division, that's what I have. And now I'm going to do my multiplications next, which means 10 take away negative 8 plus the product of 2 and negative 10, which will be negative 20. So now I've simplified this step, and I've simplified this step. So my division and my multiplication are gone. I now have just addition and subtraction left. Again, it's addition and subtraction in the order they appear from left to right, not, sub not addition first, subtraction second. So since subtraction is the first thing I see, 10 take away negative 8 is 18. If you don't believe me, keep flip change and you see it. I now have an addition left. I am combining, when I think addition, I combine 18 positives with 20 negatives. If I think the zero pairs, I have 18 zero pairs with negative 2 left over. I have two more negatives than I do positives when I combine those. And your answer would therefore be negative 2. And your last two questions are your story problems. It says a plane starts at a height of 1,200 meters above the Earth. It descends at a rate of 20 meters per minute for 8 minutes, and then ascends at a rate of 12 meters per a minute for 12 minutes. What is an expression that shows its overall change in altitude? Okay, so I'm going to draw a real small picture here. Here's my plane. Well, that's actually quite a good plane. Wow. And it is 1,200 meters above the Earth. It descends at a rate of 20 meters every second. <coughs> Sorry, minute, not second. 20 meters a minute, which is not much, so it's a very gradual descension, for eight minutes. And then it goes up uh, 12 meters per minute for 12 minutes. So if I look at that picture, I know I have to start with my 1,200 meters. That's my first number in my expression. I'm going to combine that with, or add it to, or and, I'm going to say 8 units of going down 20 meters each of them. So the first minute, I go down 20 meters. The second minute, I go down 20 meters more. The third minute, I go down 20 meters more, which means I have 8 units of descending 20 meters. And I have 12 units of going up 12 meters, so positive 12. So 12 times a positive 12. And then it says by simplifying, that's the expression. So the answer for the first point, to get your first mark, is to create this expression. The combination of the original height plus the going down plus the going up will eventually tell you where it currently is. So 1,200 plus negative 160 plus positive 144 if I solve my addition first. The first part's going to give me 1,040, positive 1,040 plus positive 144. Therefore, the new height of the plane is the sum of those two, which would be 1,184 meters. Oh, that's not the right thing to circle. Hang on. And if you want, and you had a highlighter, you could highlight that to draw my attention to your answer. The height of the plane is now 1,000, 
184 meters above the Earth. Okay, and your last two questions are eliminate the superfluous pieces of information. Make this as short as you can. So this says negative 2 times negative 3. Now, how I can write that without the first integer is written here with brackets, but we really don't need it. So we can actually just write it as negative 2. There's nothing to separate it from. And multiplication of negative 3. So this whole part right here can be written as it is in the green. And over here, positive 10 times positive 3, or negative 3, excuse me, can be written like this. So the simplest way to write that whole red sentence, instead of writing it as long as it is, you can write it like that, and it means the exact same thing. Now down here, negative 3 times 12, positive 12 take away positive 4 is the same thing as 12 take away 4. So all of this in here can be written like that. And the divided by negative 2, I could write like that.